Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So today I'm going to be showing you how I got this look. This is my TV news reporter routine, the makeup I wear every single day for work. It is a little bit on the heavy side, but with those HD cameras and those bright lights, girl, you need it. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first product I'm going to be using is the Angelville Skin Perfecting Primer, and I will put all of this in the description box below. You guys know what I'm using, so I'm just going to put this all over my face. And I always start with primer first, but the weird thing is I normally start with eyes first because I don't want anything dropping onto my face after I've done foundation. It'll just mess everything up. So as kind of like a primer for my eyes, you can use like an eyeshadow primer. Uh, the Urban Decay primer is one of my favorites, but I just use a Tarte... Um, shape tape concealer i think it works just as good so you can use that and literally just take some off of the side and just put it directly over my eyelid so this is just going to be used as an eyeshadow base so your makeup doesn't move at all during the day because we all know you can do that put it underneath too you want to bring it all the way up to your eyebrow too because you're going to put some eyeshadow there a little highlighter underneath the eye okay so that's done so next I'm going to take this nude by Maybelline I feel like everybody pretty much has this palette as you can see it's been through the works um, I am going to be taking eyeshadow brush if I can find it yeah, this. I'm going to be taking just a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be taking the third color from the left is like the lightest one in the palette. It's like a beige color. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid to start. That's really just going to brighten up the eye. And I always focus in the center of the eye with the brightest colors, uh, especially in TV. And then I focus darker on the corners of my eye. And I do bring this all the way up to my brow bone. So... It could be nice and bright. So any light color you have that really is going to make your eye pop is what you want to use. Okay, so next, this is totally optional. Uh, I normally don't do it just because I'm so used to it by now. But when you really want to get that sharp edge at the end of your eyes to really lift your eyes, especially on camera, you don't want your eyeshadow to kind of like droop down and want to be up. You can use a little, little trick right here, tape. Uh, you just put it on the corner of your eye. I'll do it this time just so you guys can see. And that's really going to just like put like precisely where you want to put your eyeshadow. That's where it's going to be. So you just put it like right in the corner of your eye. And you just place it down so it's like an upwards motion. Um, next in the same palette, I'm taking that darkish shade, which a lot of people are nervous and scared to use, but I love it. And I'm just going to be using, I don't know what these brushes are called, but it's like a tempered brush right there, you can see. So I'm just using this brush. And this is really good. This brush is really great for the corner of the eye. So I'm just going to be using that color. And you kind of want to do like a triangle motion, I guess you can say. I'm not really too sure, but just want to fill that all in. So, kind of looks like you got punched in the eye at first, but I promise it's all going to come together. I'm not going to do the tape on this side just because I'm so used to doing it by now. Or you can even take um, anything with a flat edge, like your primer, you could use that as well. So, I'll do that for this one too. And you just want to like fill it in as you go. Alright, so next I'm going to be taking this, um, this is like a crease br brush, this is awesome pre-crease and <laughs> a crease brush um, again with the same palette I use this uh, palette the entire time uh, the one that's most used right here it's the bottom I guess to the left that like it's a uh, plain neutral brown doesn't have any sparkle in it which I like so I just take some of that right there tap it off and you just want to go literally in your crease just like this right into where that eyeshadow um, outer corner that you just put that darker shadow this is all going to blend it together and you can see the middle of my eye is still bright 
and you want to keep that, you want to focus this on the outer and in your crease. I personally find that the darker the eyeshadow, it just looks better on camera. That's me personally. I know some people it's the complete opposite, but this was all trial and error, let me tell you. So I finally feel like I got the hang of what my TV makeup should look like. Um, it is a little bit more than what I would wear on a normal day, but again, bright lights, HD cameras, you kind of got to cover it all up. So it's all coming together right now. Next, I'm going in with the same eyeshadow brush that I used in the beginning and just again brightening up with that beige color right there. I'm going over it. And I do am taking this other light, it's like a shimmery color right here. I'm going to put that on my brow bone using the same brush just to give it a little highlight under your eye and to brighten it up a little bit. Okay, so next I am going to take a winged liner. Um, because I do false lashes, I feel like you do need some type of base so you just don't see the eyelash. Um, I like this one a lot. It's a liquid liner, the Super Slim by Infallible um, L'Oreal Paris. So this I'm probably going to do off camera because it's really hard to talk and do winged eyeliner. But if you want to see how I do it, then um, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do a separate video on how to do winged liner. Okay, so I'm going to take this tape off because I don't really need it and I kind of forgot about it. Uh, so next you do want to go in with mascara. I use a Luminous Original. This is just kind of to put a base on your eyelashes before you put your eyelashes on because it just is going to make those eyelashes look just a little bit more full. Again, I don't go crazy with the mascara just because I know I'm putting falsies on. I love the Wispies Ardell. They're my absolute favorite. Um, I reuse them. All you have to do is literally take the glue off. You can even wash them with like rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. And I use them probably like 10 to 15 times before I wear them out. So these are the most like natural looking lashes. Is that going to focus? Okay, whatever, it's not going to focus. Um, I will link it in the bottom bar below. I've been using these for years. I absolutely love them. Um, I'm going to be using the Ardell Professional Dark Brush on Eyelash Adhesive just because if you use the white, I mean, it does dry, but sometimes it doesn't dry perfectly all the way. You can still see the clear, but that's where liquid eyeliner comes in, and you can always fill it in like that, but... And when you put eyelashes on, you always want to make sure the ends have the most glue on it because that's where it tends to lift off. And I always cut my eyelashes like halfway through because nobody wants to have an eyelash poking in the inner corner of their eye all day because that's super annoying. So make sure you cut your eyelashes. If you guys want to see how I put eyelashes on, I will make a full video like that because I have to do this off camera because it ain't easy to do eyelashes. So you always want to make sure your eyelash glue dries for at least 30 seconds. Um, you can't just put it right on your eyelash. It's going to slide all over. It's not going to go where you want it to. So just lightly blow on it. Kind of wave it in the air. Like you just don't care. That was weird. Sorry. If you're talented and can put eyelashes on without a tweezer, then girl, all the power to you. I'm a spaz. I can't do that. So I use a tweezer. Anything would work. This little guy right here. Again, I'm doing this off camera because I can't be trusted talking and doing this. Okay, so that eyelash on, you can kind of see already. It just makes, boom, the eyelash pop. I think it just really lifts your eyes, especially with TV. I've done like compare and contrast of wearing eyelashes on TV, not wearing eyelashes on TV. And it just makes such a difference. You always want to have eyelash glue with you throughout the day because us reporters we never know where we're gonna be throughout the day we could literally be like I don't know in a wind tunnel and your eyelash is like ooh bye girl it's off that's why I always have glue with me Ardell I think is the best yeah and it just it dries black so I mean you can't really see but it's awesome and then after I'm gonna go back in with the mascara to go through the lashes just so they kind of mix well together and you can't really see where the eyelash starts and end. So for TV news, I personally think a matte look is always best because you don't really want to look oily on TV because of those bright lights. 
Um, and if you're outside and going live and they have that, you know, that shiny circle thing that they put on you, I never use a highlighter on TV because it makes me look sweaty. It doesn't make me look like a highlighter. On a normal day, girl, I love a dewy look, give me all that glow, but not for TV. I just don't think it works. So we use a lot of powder. Um, I mean, throughout the day, I'm always powdering up just because, you know, the sweat, the oil, you just want to always reapply throughout the day. You always want to apply your lashes upwards. You never want to put them down just because it's going to drag all the way look droopy on your eye you don't want that you always want your eye to look really open and i use like the end of the tweezer and i just kind of like push down on it okay so now that the eyelashes are drying you can see my eyes are kind of popping already but don't worry it's all going to come together um we're going to move on to the face so i already put primer on and next i'm going in with foundation okay so normally i use um bare minerals bare pro foundation i love this i always get compliments on my face when i use this foundation it's like an air brush smooth look unfortunately i ran out so i am going to use the fit me matte and poreless foundation this is a drugstore foundation, works just as well. Again, I personally love this Bare Minerals, but I ran out and I really needed some today, so I just ran to CVS and got this. Does the job if you're on a budget, it works just as well. And I'm going to use my Beauty Blender. It looks dirty, it's not just all the foundation on it. I do have to clean it though. Uh, you just wanna wet this and get it really damp. Okay, so for the foundation, I am just going to Put some in my finger like this. I'm just going to dot it all over my face. And then we're going to go in with the Beauty Blender and blend it all in. This is a great foundation. Like I said, if you're on a budget and you need something, this is great. Uh, drugstore products I love, but like I said, that Bare Minerals is amazing. It is very heavy on the face, the Bare Minerals, but it does the job. So next you just take the Beauty Blender and blend it all together. I always blow out my cheeks, that way it doesn't crease throughout the day. So you just go like this. And you apply it just like Okay, so next I am going to take the um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer that we used for our eyes, and I'm just going to put that right under and in my T-zone. With this product, a little goes a long way. So again, in your T-zone, going to take a beauty blender and just blend it all out. I always wait to do the drop shadow, the eyeshadow under my eye until after I'm done with concealer just because I like to get the concealer all the way up right into my eye just because it really makes it bright and pop. And of course any trouble spots you could put extra concealer on. Okay so next, I don't have the best lighting in here so it looks super pale but I promise it doesn't really look like that. Next I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Secret Translucent Secret Brightening Powder Translucent pa Translucent Powder if I can talk this is amazing I absolutely love it really makes your whole face pretty much pop uh, under your eyes so I just put a little bit in the cat and I take this brush right here this is great for powder and I just dab it in there Tap the excess off and just put it right under my eye. Wherever you put that powder is where you want to put the, uh, wherever you put the concealer is where you want to put the powder. I can't talk today. I had a long day. I was up since 3 a.m. working, so. Hashtag news life. Okay. Next, I kind of just go over with the beauty blender. Get everything blended together make sure there's no creases under my eye so next I'm going in with the fit me bronzer uh, this is in the color 330 but again everything will be down below I'm just gonna take a regular uh, bronzer brush this is real techniques going in with that bronzer and you want to get those cheekbones 
it looks like a lot of makeup pretty much because it is um again tv those bright lights and it kind of just shows everything so it kind of fades throughout the day too so i'm constantly retouching this isn't really the makeup i would wear um like if i'm like running errands it's kind of ridiculous but i just think it looks good for tv um I mean, don't get me wrong, I love a full face, but I don't do that on the daily. Honestly, my days off, I don't even wear makeup because I just want my skin to breathe because clearly you can tell I'm putting a lot on my face. Okay, so next, blush. Blush, I kind of always overdo it. This is the Fit Me uh, in the color, I don't know, I'll put that down below. Basic powder brush. I usually put more blush on just because it fades throughout the day. Again, I use my beauty blender just to blend it all together. Or if you have a blending brush, you can do that as well. That's just quick and easy. Uh, so next, I am going in with my eyebrows. I am using the L'Oreal Brow Stylish Stylist Definer. And next, I am using the NYX powder. I usually go in with a pencil, and then I go in with a powder just so it doesn't look as sharp. And then I always brush it up at the end just so they all blend together. Okay, so we are almost there. I promise this look literally takes me like maybe 17 minutes because I'm just so faceted, but I'm talking, so that's why it's taking me a little bit longer. So we're going back in with this palette and we're going to be using this, it's faded, and this is to get really precisely under your eye. So I'm going in with that brown shadow to the bottom left. Taking that, tapping it off, and putting it right under my eye. Okay, the last but not least step. The Voluminous Original Mascara. Oh wait, actually it's not the last step. I have to add lip gloss, but just put this on top of your eyelashes again to blend that all out. Now the eyelashes are dry and you want to put on the bottom as well. So for lip, normally, so if I'm anchoring, I always wear a lip gloss just because I feel like it looks best on air to get that little shimmer. And I always use a pink color because never use nude on air. It just looks washed out and it really just doesn't look good. So you really want to use a bright color because those lights and everything are really kind of, kind of tone everything down and wash it down. So... Um, if I'm anchoring, I use a lip gloss, and if I do, it's Rose Blush. This is uh, Ramel London in the color 190, and I kind of think they discontinued this because I cannot find it anywhere. If you find it, then good for you. And then um, I'm using always this Tawny. Uh, it's Jordana. It's lip liner, and I go in with this Buxom White Russian lip gloss. It gives a perfect color, and when I'm reporting, I always use a matte lip gloss because when you're reporting and you're out in the field and it's windy there's nothing less cute than having your hair stuck in your mouth and you're talking and it's stuck and you're eating lip gloss it's just not fun so i'm always using a matte um i love the kylie cosmetic the color candy k and it's just it's like a nice pink color and it just gives you that little extra something that you need. Again, it's matte, so it looks really good on air. But for now, I'm just going to be using the lip gloss. And again, I'm going in with that tawny color. And then the rose blush. It's a perfect pink. And then the buxom kind of tones it down just a little bit and gives it that nice pop. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you like it. This is my go-to everyday TV news makeup reporter look. It looks like a lot of makeup. That's because it is. It's powder and blush, but it just looks really good on air, on TV with those bright lights and those HD cameras. So again, this was a lot of trial and error, but I feel like I finally got down pat what I like. Um, it's brighter right in the middle of the eye and it kind of gets darker. It lifts your eyes. I feel like the lashes really make your eyes pop and the lip gloss again I use if I anchor and then a matte lip gloss if I when when I'm reporting um, so yeah I hope you guys like this video if you do please give it a thumbs up comment down below to let me know what kind of videos you want to see next and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss any posts and please don't forget to subscribe all right guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video